Okay, so we were talking about a microprocessor architecture, guys. What is a microprocessor ar architecture? Actually, if we are talking about a general microprocessor architecture, then the, ca the case should be like every microprocessor in the world have similar architecture. Well, that's correct. And every microprocessor has these basic components in them. The memory, the arithmetic logic unit, the control unit, registers, and buses, actually, little cables who connect them. Actually, in this diagram, you have them all. But you still don't know what they are used for. Okay, that's the idea of the course. So, I'm talking about the 16-bit microprocessor here. So, you don't know what the 16-bit means. You hear about it. There's 64-bit windows. What is it? Actually, it's all about the microprocessor you're going to learn. So we have something called the ALU, Arithmetic Logic Unit. Actually, this is the guy who makes all the operations. In the following slides, I'm going to get to it. This is the control unit. This is the guy who understands the language. We are going to speak to the microprocessor using a language called assembly language. This control unit guy will understand the language, okay? These are the register, these are like, little memory bits, but these are not the actual memory. Actually, this is like in your desktop computer, you have hard disk and you have... Okay, I'm going to just... Enable rating will kapatalım. Sorry, arkadaşlar, böyle şeyler olacak işte bizim acemiliğimize de. Okay, I was talking about a general microprocessor architecture. What I was saying is, microprocessor architectures are similar for every microprocessor. So what I'm talking about is, you have a microprocessor in your computer, you have a microprocessor in your washing machine, and you have a microprocessor on your watch, your smartwatch. They all have these basic components, memory, ALU, arithmetic logic unit, the guy who does all the operations, the computing, the control unit, the guy who understands the language. What is the language? We'll be using a specific coding language, which is called the assembly language. We are going to learn that language in this course. This control unit guy understands that. Okay, I guess that was not to us. Arkadaşlar, mikrofonlarınızı kapatın isterseniz. Yani bize soru soracaksanız açın tabii. Okay, the registers, I was talking about registers. So registers are like memory, guys. They are just cells. You can keep information. And when I say information, it is zeros and ones, bits, okay? Registers are like the, uh, you know, in your desktop computer, you have hard disk and you have a memory, right? So hard disk is for keeping very big information. Memory is what you currently have, right? So I guess you are familiar with the definition of memory and hard disk in your desktop computer. Actually, we have an analogy here. There is something simil similar here. The hard disk, as you know it, will be something called memory in this case. So the names are interchanged. Don't get confused. So when I say memory in a microprocessor, it is actually like the hard disk. The information will be there. And when I say registers, it will be like the memory of a desktop, if you can get what I mean. We are going to get why this is so. There are so many reasons. Let me explain very briefly. Well, in your hard disk, you keep information. Your computer takes a lot of time to access that information in the hard disk, right? But to access the memory, it is very fast. It is the same for the microprocessor. The registers are very close to the arithmetic logic unit. So you can just communicate the arithmetic logic unit will be very fast to gather information from the registers, but it will be slow to gather information from the memory, which is actually the hard disk in that case. Okay, and the buses, everything should be connected, guys. You want to make an operation on some data, you are going, there's a number here, there's a number here. You want to sum these numbers using this computing unit, then they should be connected. And these are called the buses. Now, one by one, I'm going to talk about them, one by one. So, 
We start with memory, guys. Memory refers to the computer hardware integrated circuit that stores the information. So whenever you hear the word memory, you should understand that somebody can keep binary information inside. There are zillions of zeros and ones inside. Okay. We are going to learn memory in the following weeks, in week three or week four. I don't remember correctly. I may not remember correctly. The memory has some cells in it. Okay, there are cells, little, little rooms in it. In each room, there will be a specific information. And each room will have a number, not the information inside, like the room number in a hotel room. We'll call that room number the memory address. Okay, so, so when I say memory, I'm talking about two types of information. The hotel room number and who is inside. They are both binary numbers, by the way. Who is inside the room is also a binary number. The number written on the door, the memory address, is also a binary number. We will, we'll try not to confuse them, but I'm going to talk about that. So memory addresses are fixed length sequences, which means a memory address is like a number, like a hotel room number. But it's in binary. Binary means it's a number in base 2. And this number has a fixed length, which means it's formed of 8 bits. So 8 binary numbers, which means 8 zeros and 1s together form a number. You know how to deal with binary numbers. I hope so. I'm going to remind you, but we'll be dealing with binary numbers a lot in this course, guys. And I'm going to get to it. Don't worry. Okay, the second one is the arithmetic logic unit. This guy is the guy who makes the operations, guys. This is an electronic circuit, actually. This is a digital circuit. Some people created it from flip-flops and AND gates and NAND gates and OR gates. It can do operations. Actually, arithmetic logic unit has its own architecture inside. If this was a computer architecture course, I would be teaching you the inside architecture of the algorithm. And the inside out architecture of the other is very complicated. There's an adder. Do you remember the adder? We have learned adders in digital design. The subtractor or AND gate or a multiplexer. So those blocks you learned in digital design come together. And by designing them, by making an architectural design, you construct an arithmetic logic unit. And that arithmetic logic unit is used to make operations on the information kept in memory and registers. Okay, so the inputs to an ALU are the data to be operated on. You have a data, there's a guy in a hotel room, that was the analogy we used. It's going to make operated on. You're going to sum that number with another number. Arithmetic logic unit will do it for you because arithmetic logic unit has the internal components to complete this job. Okay, so the inputs to an ALU are data to be operated on called operands, like in mathematics and the code indicating the operation to be performed. So this code may confuse you now, but we're going to call them an instruction. Actually, assembly language, the computer language we are going to learn in this course, will have instructions, just like the code lines you write in C or MATLAB or Python. We will have lines of code in assembly, and each line, we will use an instruction. So lines of code in assembly are called instructions. I'm going to teach them to you, don't worry. And these instructions will be telling ALU to do a certain operation, like addition. So each instruction will be using a certain component of the ALU. Guys, I'm talking in very general terms, don't worry, we are get, we're going to get detailed in stuff. I'm trying to make you familiar with the subject. So don't worry, but if you have questions, please do not hesitate to ask, okay? Okay. The third one is the CU, control unit. You may have already realized that in this computer stuff, there are a lot of abbreviations. Everything is used for short. I'm, instead of control unit, you use CU. Instead of arithmetic logic unit, you use ALU or ALU. Instead of graphical processing unit, you use GPU. Well, I don't know why. I mean, uh, this is because of uh, American people, I guess. They like these abbreviations, Ksaltma, a lot. And I'm going to use that, but if you don't understand any of them, please ask. The control unit is the guy who controls every operation. Okay, so it is the brain. And we talk directly to the control unit. So 
I told you we are going to use a language called assembly language to speak to the microprocessor. The control unit guy will understand this language. So we'll be directly speaking to the control unit. Hey, control unit, I'm giving you an instruction. Add this register to this register. Control unit will get that information and will put necessary bits. I mean, just control other components to do your operation, okay? How come, actually, we are going to make a uh, sample uh, architecture in the first week. I don't know if today or next week on Wednesday, 